The Almost Heaven Swings were launched as a part of West Virginia's 159th birthday celebration in 2022. And ever since, they have provided families with safe and high quality outdoor fun. Um, they were super, super nice. Really good photo opportunities for friends and family and stuff like that. Um, I even go sometimes and take pictures on the swing when I go on hikes. There are a total of nine Almost Heaven Swings right here in the state of West Virginia. And today I'm at the one in Cooper's Rock. These swings were here to promote the state's culture of natural beauty and hard work. And in 2024, there are plans to have 28 swings. All the swings were handcrafted by students from Nicholas County, highlighting the local craftsmanship. This means regular maintenance, including staining and sealing the wood, is then used to help maintain the swings. Um, the way that we go about it is we do put significant amount of, uh, of uh, mulch underneath the swing in case anybody would happen to fall or the significant amount of uh, foot traffic that it does see and you, we do replace the ropes yearly on them. This project encourages visitors to post photos on social media of them enjoying the swings in some of the state's most iconic locations. Tourism is a huge part of West Virginia's economy, raising $4.6 billion annually. The Department of Tourism has reported millions of social media engagements, capturing the attention of users worldwide. From Mountaineer Playbook, I'm Connor Hogan. Coming up on Mountaineer Playbook, I'm Connor Hogan, and I'll tell you how this swing has provided a boost to our local economies right here in West Virginia. After the break on Mountaineer Playbook, I'll tell you how this swing has provided a boost to our local economies right here in West Virginia. I'm Connor Hogan, and I'll tell you how this swing has provided a boost to our local economies here in West Virginia. Mountaineer Playbook starts now. <laughs> 